Okay, we're going to show you the posterior shoulder, posterior superior part of the shoulder joint. You, you've, you put the probe in across the top part of the humerus and then you look for the bony landmarks. So the arm on the right side and then you look for the glenoid and the labrum. If you external rotate your arm slowly for me, and you can confirm that you're in the, at the joint line. Come back. And then if you follow the glenoid and you go a little bit more medial, then there's your spinal glenoid notch. If you external rotate it once more, you see a little blood vessel coming in there and back. Okay, so once you have those landmarks and you put the joint in the middle, then you look for the infraspinator, which is quite a nice thick intramuscular tendon. If you external rotate again, then you can see the tendon moving towards the joint and come back. That's in longitudinal. If you want to do it in cross section, you just spin on it and it's a nice intramuscular tendon and you can follow it up uh, lateral or medial. Let's go back in longitudinal and that's your starting point again. So you've got all the bony landmarks in one picture labrum, glenoid, spinal glenoid notch, and then the uh, upper arm as well. Mm -hmm.